And while there has been a lot of hype surrounding the state's uh, fair return, the attendance has been a lot lower than hoped for. CBS 17's Galat Balamit reports organizers and vendors are looking forward to business picking up. It's a bustling Sunday night here at the fair, but attendance for the first three days was actually down about 70,000 people compared to 2019. But the people we spoke with say you could not tell. As the Ferris wheel goes round and round, so does the line to ride it. Dealing with COVID and everything is way busier than I expected. But I can't imagine it being any more crowded than this. No numbers yet for Sunday's fair attendance, but attendance for the first three days of the fair are down from 2019 and the 10 year average, including the lowest opening day since 1994. We really didn't know what to expect this year. We know that uh, this is not the right year for some people, but uh, we're excited to be open and and feel that uh, those that come are having a great time. Some coming for rides, others for the food. First time vendors enjoying the fair too. Business as well. Popping at PT's Prairie Gold Kettle Corn. It doesn't stop people that come from eating though. So that's a good thing. So you don't think you're feeling an impact of uh, attendance being down? I don't think so, no. Over at Lobster Dogs of Raleigh. I would say we may have expected more because of what, you know, how busy it is in the past years, but we're still very happy with the way it, the way it's turned out for us. They estimate they did about 50% more business than Saturday and 100% more business than the first day. It started off a little slow, but um, today was definitely a peak day for us. And a peak day for the fairgoers. I'm glad we were able to come and they had it this year. The fair says that next Saturday is usually their busiest day. In Raleigh, Kilabalamid, CBS 17 News.